Imagine that you have seven packages of candy. Each package has five pieces of candy in it. You want to know how many pieces of candy you have. You could count them all. Or you could add up five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. Plus five. Oh, that's a lot of fives to add up. Hopefully you don't forget to add a five or to not add enough fives. Another method you could use is skip counting by five. Five plus five gives you ten. Add another five to ten equals fifteen. Add another five to get twenty, and you keep going to get twenty-five, then thirty, and finally thirty-five. Whew, that's a lot of work. Let me show you a way to add a digit multiple times more quickly. It's called multiplication. You may have already been multiplying and didn't even realize it. To multiply is to add equal groups. Your task today is going to be focused on creating a multiplication problem. Although you'll see the answer to the problem, make sure you can create the problem and understand how to write it. Take a look back at the seven packages of candy. Now there are seven groups. Each group has five pieces of candy. This means that there are seven groups of five. You can look at it as a long addition problem like you did earlier, or you can look at it as a multiplication problem. Seven groups of five can be written as seven multiplied by five. You see the new symbol between the five and the seven? That's the symbol for multiplication. Here are some exercises to practice writing multiplication problems. You're asked to write five groups of three as a multiplication problem. Well, you can start by changing the words into numbers. You can change the words groups of into the multiplication symbol. Great work. You wrote five groups of three as the multiplication problem five multiplied by three. Here's another practice problem. You're being asked to write nine groups of four as a multiplication problem. Just like you did earlier, start by changing the words into numbers. Finally, you can turn the words groups of into the multiplication symbol. You did it! You changed nine groups of four into nine multiplied by four. Here's a longer example to practice writing multiplication. A bee goes to three flowers every time it leaves its hive. How many flowers will the bee visit when it leaves the hive four times? The first time the bee leaves, it goes to three flowers. Ah, this is the first group. The next time it leaves, it goes to another three flowers. This is the second group. It leaves again, and one more time for a total of four times, or four groups. Each time it leaves, it goes to three flowers. That gives you four groups of three. You can write this as multiplication by writing four multiplied by three. Awesome job! If you used skip counting, You'll find the answer is 12. You're on your way to mastering multiplication. All right, here's another one. A dog buries two bones in the yard every day. How many bones will the dog bury after four days? Hmm. You need to find out how many bones are buried after four days. So, the groups in this problem are the days. There are four groups. Four days, four groups. Each group has two bones. You can say there are four groups of two bones. Great! Now you can create a multiplication sentence. Four multiplied by two. Now try skip counting to solve. Two, four, six, eight. All those bones are really great. Eight bones are buried in the yard. Okay, it's back to school time. And you need some pencils for all the learning that will occur this year. There's a great sale on packages of 12 pencils, and you decide to purchase three packages. So, how many pencils have you bought? Well, each package is a group, right? You bought three packages, or three groups. And each group has 12 pencils inside of it, so you have three groups of 12. Wonderful! Now we can create a multiplication sentence. 3 multiplied by 12 is 36. Time to sum it up. Multiplication is having equal groups. It's a great way to add the same number up quickly. In other words, multiplication is a time saver. You're going to love it. Oh, and the new symbol, of course. Here it is again.
It means multiplication. There are so many more interesting things to learn about multiplication, but we're out of time. So, see you in the next video lesson.